The House of Representatives has directed its Committee on Finance and Banking to investigate annual revenue leakages to the tune of over $30 billion from financial institutions nationwide. The motion was raised by the Chairman House Committee on Finance, Honorable James Faleke, who revealed that Nigeria has not been able to fund its capital budget in the last few years due to a lack of funds and low remittances of revenue by revenue-generating agencies. Honorable Faleke says this is caused by revenue leakages arising from tax evasion, financial malpractices, misuse and diversion of foreign exchange allocations by several companies in league with government agencies. The probe will include the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, several Nigerian banks, Forex dealers, the Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS, importers and other financial companies. I also believe that the central bank would need to streamline the window for our foreign exchange policy to close the gap that allows for different applications of different rates for different uh, needs in the country to ensure that all the revenues that are available to us as a country, we access them and we deploy them judiciously. I so submit. Thank you very much. The House take cognizance of the following facts that performer invoices overstatement by importers with the intention of obtaining large forest allocation above the international cost, insurance and freight values of goods, thereby increasing the domestic inflation, inflation rate. Fictitious transfer of forest allocation for the payments of dividends to foreign shareholders of Nigeria companies above the dividend approved by the company's board of directors and audited accounts, thereby leading to evasion of statutory 30% company income tax thereof. Allocation of foreign exchange to companies for the repayment of foreign loan and interest that were in some cases found to be non existent or rather a fictitious loan backed by a mere package document without evidence of utilization in Nigeria and related taxes. We have huge revenue challenges to the extent that our budgets are not executed to the latter. If these leakages are blocked, but it will go a long way in making more accurate to the consolidated revenue fund with a view to executing more capital projects that will bring development to the doorsteps of our constituents. When somebody inflates his invoice to export foreign exchange and go to the, the, the other country to harvest it and probably round trip it, Somebody is supposed to be oversighting him. If at any point in time you are important and you inflate your performer invoice, there is a letter of credit, Mr. Speaker. There should be a correlation between what is important and the amount that has been established to be. Otherwise, our customs are not doing their job. 